Hello and uh, welcome to another Ionic video. Um, I have a question regarding this car. But first of all, uh, I just saw I've reached 200 subscribers, which is kind of unreal. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Um, but today, I, uh, when I got this car, I was a bit disappointed that it didn't have a charge limit. Because in the Tesla, I put it to 80%. I just charge and forget about it. In this one, I didn't want to charge it to 100%, or I don't want to charge it to 100%, so I've been timing it, um, and I've been maintaining a state of charge between 60 and 80%, because we don't drive that long with this car, usually. Um, but I wonder, there are so many other people, they just charge it to 100%. Uh, is this okay? Uh, and can I do it as well? So the issue is that when you have charged it to, if you charge it too too much, um, you will have some chemical reactions inside the battery that does bad stuff, <laughs> basically. And the two things are bad for a battery. Uh, at least that's the worst things for the battery. It's a high state of charge and heat. That's why if you have a leaf in a warm country, uh, it doesn't have any active cooling at all you might see high degradation. I saw one video on YouTube once with a leaf, uh, where a leaf had 30% of the battery remaining <laughs> when it was fully charged, so... Yeah. Uh, but I've been digging, digging a bit into technical specs and whatnot. So this car, uh, officially it's rated for 28 kilowatt hour, the battery size. Um, I see when I charge it fully, I, I'm charging it right now, it's not fully charged yet, but I suspect it will be fully charged any moment. It says BMS percent, 95 percent, so I think that means that the car has reserve, because then the, the, uh, the car itself says the battery is 100 percent, but when you look into the parameters, the, the BMS says 95 percent. So 95% of um, 28 kilowatt hours is 26.6 kilowatt hours. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, you have 5% buffer. I've also heard someone say that you have a bottom 3% uh, buffer, which means it would be uh, 25.76 kilowatt hours that you can actually use. So I'm going to test that. I'm going to, I, I'm trying it to 100% now. I'm going to drive it as low as possible and see what um, what the um, Canionic say I have used, how much battery I have used um, and to see that. But here comes the technical part. <laughs> the actual battery is a bit different. Uh, uh, the battery uh, contains of many many small cells. So one cell is um, it's almost like a laptop battery. Uh, you have in a laptop, you might have three or four or five cells or something. In um, this car, the cell is rated for a maximum voltage of four point three volts, a minimum voltage of two and a half volts. But then you have a dead, dead battery. I don't think you can charge it up again if it goes down to two and a half volt per cell. Um, each of these cells or uh, you have uh, many of these cells in the car. You have 96 cells connected in serial. So one connects to the, from the minus to the plus to the other, from the minus to the plus to the next. Then you can take 96 times. Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, another thing is that each cell has a certain voltage. So this, the nominal voltage for this is 3.75 volts. Yeah, as I said, the maximum was 4.3. So if you take a serial connection, you need to multiply the voltage by the number of cells you have in series. That means that the nominal voltage for this car is uh, 360 volts, the maximum is 412, then the battery is completely full, and the minimum is 240. Then you have a dead battery, basically. Uh, oh, it just stopped. <laughs> so. If you calculate a bit, uh, I looked into the specs, uh, each cell has 43 amp hours, which means you take the nominal voltage, 3.75 times the amp hours, and you get 
watt hours per cell. In addition, this car has two of these NIT96 packs in, connected in parallel. So you don't increase the voltage, but you increase the capacity and the amperage. Um, that means that if you take um, the 96 times 161.25, multiply it by 96, you get a bit over 15 kilowatt hours. <laughs> I need to get my, it's about 15 and a half kilowatt hours. Then you need to multiply that by two again and you get 30.96 kilowatt hours. So, uh, what does this mean? Well, uh, depending on the how the state of charge PMS parameter and the buffer works, I have a few different scenarios. So if it's actually 30.96 kilowatt hours, and you charge it to 100% in and it has an 8% buffer in addition, then you actually only charge the battery to 83.2%, which shouldn't be a big issue. So that means that you just can charge it to 100% uh, and you have a normal degradation. If you don't have the bottom buffer, uh, then you have charged it to about 86% if you only have a 5% buffer. So the plan is to drive the car empty and see how much I get out of it. There is some loss, of course, so it won't be 100% accurate. Um, probably won't be enough to see if I have a bottom 3% or not. But if I have a bottom 3%, it will be a maximum of 25.76 kilowatt hours I get out. If I don't do it, it will be a maximum of 26.6. So if I go over 25.76 kilowatt hours or close to it, I could probably uh, uh, assume that it doesn't have the bottom 3%. Um, if I go quite a bit below it, then I should calculate with the 3%. Um, so just finish charging, I'm going to unplug, and then we can look at the parameters a bit to see how they match um, before I start driving. <laughs> right, I have unplugged, and I just reset CAN Ionic. So the car is charged to 100%. It's also full in here. But you can see in CAN Ionic, the state of charge BMS is 95%. So there is, I think that's of the um, 28 kilowatt hours. You can see the volts is 396, which is not quite, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's 12, 14 volts under the maximum volt of 412. see individual cells they are 4.12 the maximum here could be 4.3 so it's not full but let's see here go on should be possible to go one more my yeah here is a uh, something called what hours out and that's what we're going to look at how many watt hours is going out of the car? I think I'm missing. Yeah, here it is. Watt hours out. <laughs> so let's see how much I can get out of the battery while driving it almost down to zero. <clears throat> oh, my, vo <clears throat> my voice is cracking a bit. Hopefully I'll be able to <laughs> survive this trip. Uh, yeah, I have my mount here, so I'll be able to fix the camera at least, so I don't drive while doing stupid things. Alright, let's go.
All right. So um, I'm going to turn around here. I've gone 76 kilometers. I've been going rather fast. So um, consumption is 180 watt hours per kilometer. But I have 54% state of charge. And can Ionity claims that I have spent almost 15 kilowatt hours. <laughs> and if that is true, uh, where do I drive now? Okay, I'm going out here. <laughs> this was a bit confusing intersection. But if uh, that is true, and this, the um, battery gauge is... Um, just let me get out here. <laughs> if it's linear, that means that this car has more than 30 kilowatt hours for use, usable. So I suspect, highly suspect that the car is uh, has a non-linear stator charge gauge, which will explain some of my previous experiences as well. So yeah, um, it's over. 15 kilowatt hours now, I can see. Well, uh, I'm turning back. I'm going to aim to arrive at Grelland with as slow state of charge as possible, and I'm going to drive around in that area uh, to get down as close to zero as possible, so I don't have to extrapolate too much. What's this guy about? <laughs> When you, when you pass some people, they speed up. Okay, now I can go in. <laughs> he slowed down again. I also have a Model 3 behind me. Anyway, uh, uh, on we go. So um, I've been driving back and forth here a bit and uh, I just got a super turtle mode. I have three kilometers left. It complains a lot. It's been dropping quite a bit, but it says it's only 800 meters to the charging station, which should be true. <laughs> so um, it's just two roundabouts here now. I'm going 20 below speed limit because the car just don't it suddenly lost all power almost. Kind of scary because uh, I, I just can't go faster than this. So the, the um, range just set, is now saying just dot dot dot. <laughs> but still the battery says 3% left. So I should be able to make it. However, I've been watching this what our reg It's now at 27 0.8 kilowatt hours and I think it's wrong because it doesn't match the watt hour per kilometer times kilometers I'll see about that when I arrive the charging station is just around the corner now so 2% um, left <laughs> I might have gone a little bit too low <laughs> for my own comfort I hope I can actually make it. 
it's just I need to go out on the highway here and I need to exit <laughs> up where that other car ahead of me is going now up to the gas station there 2% left still yeah I think this is going to be fine <laughs> I'm just limping in <laughs> and I want to go to the charges in the back because they're faster than these ones these are only 50 kilowatts well there is 150 but that's so expensive I'm going to go back here because there's a 150 kilowatt charger here that's not so expensive 2% okay that's going to make the calculations pretty easy at least yeah let's park so it's getting a bit dark outside, uh, but look at this. <laughs> Charge immediately, no bars left on the power. 2% left on this one. Also, it says 2% left in this one. You can see here, it says 28 kilowatt hours exactly. But so, so it, that matches the rating. But uh, I need to do some calculations. I'll be back. All right, so I've done some calculations. I took 144.5 uh, kilometers times 176 watt hours per kilometer. By the way, that's way lower than when I drove uh, at 110 in minus eight. So uh, temperature does have a big difference here. But then I get 25.4 kilowatt hours. And the state of charge is 2%, so divided by 0.98 is almost 26 kilowatt hours. So the bottom 3% buffer, I don't think that's uh, applicable. I'm much more likely to believe this, uh, this uh, the state of charge thing. Okay, let's get some... <laughs> You see all my notes here. Uh, I'm much more inclined to believe that the SOC BMS with 95% it's 26.6 kilowatt hours that is possible to get out but then I have some loss and that's not an unreasonable loss. So that means when you charge it fully uh, if it does have a um, 31 kilowatt hour battery that means that fully charged is 86% without any degradation. I'm not so sure if that's healthy to charge that high. So um, I think I'm still going to go t time mine. I'm no expert here though, so <laughs> your mileage might, or what, what do you say? I your results might differ. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I, I, the, the, the what are out there is definitely incorrect, I think. Because then you will have no buffer or... Uh, yeah, well... No, it's it's not correct, because then the, the watt hour per kilometer matches what I had in the car. Let's just briefly fire it up again, so I can see that. No, yeah, it does. <laughs> I started wondering if it actually wanted to... So let's see what... Uh, 175, yeah, that's that matches. So I'm much more inclined to believe that than the what are out reg can al uh, or what are out. You can also see it had difficulty registering all of it. So uh, I think that's not. I think you should not trust that number. But anyway, um, twenty six kilowatt hours. So you have. 5 kilowatt hours buffer. Yeah, maybe you can charge fully. Might be possible. But I won't recommend that. Oh, now it says 1% in the car. <laughs> but it still says 2% uh, in here. Let me check quickly. What does it say for SOC BMS 3%? Ah. So that one changes differently. Maybe that's what I mean about the 3% buffer in the forums I've seen. Yeah, that could be. Well, I, I'm not, yeah, I'm basically empty here. 
Anyway, um, I think it's between 85 and 90 percent when it's fully charged. So I'm not going to do that, I think. Anyway, time to charge so I get home. <laughs> All right. I am home and uh, I've been thinking a bit about these numbers. So I'm an idiot. <laughs> The watt hour out is of course the gross used and the watt hour reg is the watt hour regen. <laughs> and if you take one and subtract the other, then you get the actual spent and that's approximately what the watt hour per kilometer was. So uh, the 25.5 kilowatt hours was correct. That means that uh, the total spent was about 26 kilo, or the total possible to get out of the battery was 26 kilowatt hours, a little bit under 26 kilowatt hours, which again leads to the conclusion that BMS standard charge at 100% equals 28 kilowatt hours. But of course, you can never get there because uh, Hyundai or Hyundai, I don't know how to pronounce it really, Hyundai. <laughs> they uh, limit it so that you can only charge to 95% BMS max. Um, which means we have a 5% buffer there, plus the 3 kilowatt hours that is from the spec of the battery. So that means that when you ch fully charge the car, it's really about 86% has about 86% state of charge. I'm a bit tired now. Um, and as long as you don't have any degradation, that's fine. But as soon as you start to degrade, you're going to degrade from that buffer. And it's not so fine anymore because I think it will charge to 95% state of charge, 95% of 28 kilowatt hours, regardless of the degradation all the way until you hit so much degradation that you have less than 28 kilowatt hours. I don't know any, anyone who has a state of charge in their ionic um, or state of health less than 100%. So, uh, I mean, in the Tesla it says you can charge up to 90% without any issues. I guess it's fine here, at least when the car is young, like this one is, or not used that much. But I'm still going to use my timer and keep it between 60 and 80 percent because that's uh, that's all I need for the daily use anyway. N no need to have too much and it's not that big of a hassle because I just put the timer on uh, in the car. Anyway, I hope this was uh, interesting and informative or yeah, again, don't take everything I say for uh, gospel. So uh, in any case, that's it, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>